Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I'm going to provide you with seven powerful problem solving tips to help you pass the FE exam. While taking the FE exam, you'll likely get stuck on a problem that you will find difficult to solve. It happens to everyone. The answer or the equations that you will need to find the answer can't always be found in the supplied reference handbook. And the use of a calculator may not help on some of these very difficult problems. Also, the problem may be the kind where it's not easy to eliminate certain answers to make a calculated guess. So here are seven tips that you can use during your exam to attempt to solve these difficult problems. Number one, spend an average of three minutes per question. The exam is six hours long, but that six hours includes an eight minute tutorial, a 25 minute break, and a brief survey at the end of the exam. So the total time that you'll have to actually answer the exam questions is five hours and 20 minutes. If you do the math here, that gives you slightly less than three minutes per question. And of course, you may work through the questions during the exam in any order you like. Also, if you want to go back and check your answers before you submit the exam for grading and you have time to, you may do so. However, once you submit a section, you are not able to go back and review it. Number two, focus is key. When you start a section of the exam, look over all of the questions and categorize questions based on the subjects you are strongest and weakest in. Tackle the ones that you are confident about first and in an organized and efficient way. How you prioritize your time and your focus related to answering the questions is the key to completing the FE exam efficiently. In fact, we have an entire video on this approach, which I will include in the comments below. Number three, remember that you don't have to solve every problem on the exam. Once you have sorted the questions and answered the ones that you could, remember that you don't need to solve every problem on the exam to pass. In the past, engineers have passed this test with a score of only 50%. Again, the best way to solve the highest number of problems in the least amount of time is to focus first on the questions you know you can answer. This way, if there are a few questions that you don't get to, they are likely the ones that you would have struggled to get correct anyway. Number four, use your calculator as much as possible. We all tend to make mistakes, unintentionally of course. It is better to be on the safe side and use the calculator to solve problems rather than entirely relying on your own manual calculations, not just for the accuracy of the calculations, but also for the speed with which you can complete solving the problem. Even if you know how to solve particular math and statistics problems, you should try solving them with your calculator as often as possible. And remember, make sure that your calculator is one of those that is approved for the exam. You can find the list of approved calculators at ncaes.org forward slash exams forward slash calculator. Number five, make an educated guess if needed. As I mentioned earlier, there will inevitably be questions that you can't answer, and these questions might take a lot of time to complete. Making an educated guess on questions that are taking longer than three minutes is the best approach. Don't skip a question in fear you won't get the right answer. You won't be penalized for wrong answers. And this is an important point to remember. You will not be penalized for wrong answers. Answer these difficult questions with educated guesses, but again, make sure you are completing all of the questions that are easy for you first. Number six, don't confuse Imperial and SI units. The FE exam uses both Imperial and SI units. Ensure that you are familiar with both. The most embarrassing and frustrating way to fail the exam is by using the wrong units. Doing so could make it difficult for you to get motivated to retake the exam. Number seven, don't panic. The FE exam itself is stressful. Don't add to that stress by worrying about every little detail. Being late, bringing the wrong materials, or experiencing a case of panic all cause stress, and this stress has caused many to fail the FE exam. One way to avoid panic and stress 
is to prepare for the exam properly and create a checklist of everything you need to bring to the exam and run through that checklist the night before the exam when you pack up. There you have it. If you can follow these seven steps during and leading up to the exam, you will be on your way to passing the FE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through some more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.